In this cold weather, it's easy to want to stay inside all day. Well, some people don't have a choice. They have to brave the cold day for their work. Channel 4's Haley Winslow spent, met some of these people. And Haley, how was their attitude out there? Mary, they made the most of it. You were on the north side where it actually snowed pretty steadily for a while. It definitely didn't feel like Florida, and I still can't feel my fingers or nine of my toes. But the people we talked to say, you know, we don't get this kind of weather very often, and so we'll make the most of it. <laughs> for these construction workers mixing concrete, the cold was pretty brutal. How many hats do you have on? I have two. I have this one on <laughs> and this one. Oh, you got a bald head. Yeah. You yeah. better keep that noggin warm. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Working with this concrete, does it keep you warm? Yeah. It keeps the bones warm. You have to do like a little jig to stay warm? Sometimes. I want the bones to do a little jig. The key is layers. You got long underwear on, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Oh, yeah. How many oh. layers you got? I got like one, two, three. Whoa, four. Oh, yeah, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Plus the wind chill ain't making it no better. Many others also had to brave the weather, like Tyrone Mack, a sign spinner for Miracle Tax Services. You wouldn't believe my hands are hurting, uh, a little numb here and down the extremities. The secret for him is to keep moving. I hear this is a pretty good workout. Are you at least staying warm, moving around? Oh yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. Might as well get my aerobics on. Wait, yeah, where's your music? Well, I haven't brought it yet, but I'm getting to that. I'm just warming up to it. All right, let's see your jig. He has a whole bunch of moves. The keyboard, the flip, and 360 spin. We saw a man in a face mask riding a bicycle, a dog wrapped in a sweater, joggers, and kids bundled up getting off the bus for a field trip at the Cummer Museum as workers outside laid sod to help protect the gardens. At the Cummer Museum in Riverside, they tend to plant weather appropriate plants in the wintertime. They don't cover their plants in a garden this size and they don't even use chemicals or sprays, which makes the plants a lot stronger and more able to withstand the weather. And as the snow fell down in some parts of town, people outside worked harder in a hurry to get warm. Trying to get out of it, get the work done and get out of the cold weather. I'm at the Caddyshack Ranch Wildlife Sanctuary on the north side where the lions and tigers here can't really get out of the cold. Coming up at 6, I'll take you inside the cages and see how they're handling the cold and introduce you to one lion that was so excited he lunged at me. That's coming up at 6. Reporting live on the north side, Haley Winslow, Channel 4. The local station. Thank you, Haley. In this cold weather, we can bundle up and stay inside, but some animals don't have that luxury. Channel 4's Haley Winslow has been running around town seeing how people are dealing with the cold. She checked on the lions and tigers at Caddyshack Ranch on the north side, and that's where she's joining us live. Haley, I hear the flakes were falling there, too. Mary, it snowed pretty steadily here at the Caddyshack Ranch Wildlife Sanctuary on the north side for a pretty good time, but Ginger the chicken didn't seem to mind, and neither did the big cats or the people who braved the weather to check them out. <laughs> the second the lions roared, the flurries fell as the tigers in the next cage over roll around in recycled Christmas trees. I like to see it because the cats get real frisky. Everybody gets fluffy and fuzzy, so it's fun to see. These tigers love the cold. They'll swim when their pools are iced over and can withstand weather down to negative 40 degrees. Lions are more particular. This is Tao. He's about 14 years old. He doesn't like the cold as much as the tigers, do you? But he's choosing to be outside, and if it gets really cold, he can go into his den in the back. Right, Tao? <laughs> I won't be accompanying him in that den. Some of the other dens volunteers stack with cedar chips because those cats get cold, like this black Asian leopard. Really, the reaction afterwards is the best. They love the smell. Outside her den, Sheba the bobcat was shivering. Um, and then one side, we have all these donated blankets. Um, she really only likes them when they're washed with Tide. Um, and then underneath is all cedar chips, so it's actually very warm underneath there. And we also add um, blankets to some of the smaller cats and um, heat lamps as well. Runty wants a blanket too. The animal at Caddy Shack that gets the coldest is the Cotamundi in the raccoon family from Central and South America. But Callie was found in a garage in Callahan. And thanks to the volunteers at Caddy Shack, where the sole source of income comes from admissions and private donations, she and the rescue cats have a warm place to sleep. At about 9, 10 o'clock, we were out here turning on all of our heat lamps, making sure all the bulbs work, um, locking cats down, giving them a little extra food to stay warm. More food in their belly makes them stay a little bit warmer.
a little bit of food. In about an hour, volunteers will give these cats 700 pounds of food. That's 200 more than usual. I think Ginger's a little hungry. She's trying to escape from me, so we're going to let her get something to eat. Reporting live on the north side of Caddyshack, Haley Winslow, Channel 4, The Local Station.